What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who, and today guys I'm bringing you a quick tutorial showing you guys how to use the Auto Backport tool made by Retro Gamer 74 for downgrading your games from 6.72 to 5.05. As you guys can see in the background, the tool is on 0.7, so there's been some improvement on the tool. But if you're looking to get this application, you can get it off of PlayStation Hacks and you're good to go. Prior to using the actual application, I would highly recommend for you guys to get Python 2718 and download the 64-bit version and install this. I'm doing this on a Windows 10 computer, which is 64-bit. If you are trying to do this on a 32-bit, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but you can try. After downloading Python, you want to go to Microsoft and get NetFrame 461 offline installer. I have it right here, I already installed it. Once you do that, you're good to go to use the application. So I'm gonna close this down real quick. And as you guys can see, I have the application here with the bin folder that came inside the original folder when I unzipped it. Now, prior to unzipping the application folder, you may encounter a situation where you will get a false positive from your antivirus telling you there is a Trojan inside that folder. Or you may get it from Windows Defender. I got it and I just allowed that file to be used and everything was good. If you do nothing, it will quarantine that file. And then once you unzip the application and try to run the application, it will not work properly because you are missing a file. So do keep that in mind. You will get a false positive from your antivirus, just hit allow. Or if you get it from Windows Defender, hit allow. If the file is quarantined, you could go inside your antivirus or Windows Defender and hit restore and it will put back that file from that actual folder and then you should be able to actually use the application. I just wanna point that out because a lot of people have been saying the application doesn't work and it works perfectly fine. As you guys can see on my desktop, I have the fake package game here, and then I have two folders that I created. So I'm going to run the auto backport tool right now as admin. So run as admin, hit yes, and as you guys can see, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to select the fake package game, which is on my desktop, hit open. Now extraction folder, this is my old folder. If you don't have this created, you can create it real quick and then click on extract folder. I'm going to do this right now because I already created it old. And then fix package folder. This is where it's going to create the patch. So once I install the game, I then install the patch and then everything will work on 505. This is my new folder. So fix, new, hit OK. Now, add update optional. At this point, I just leave this blank, and then I come down and hit the create button so it can create the patch that I can use on 505. Now, as you guys can see, everything is running, and I don't have any issues. Now, depending on the size of the game is how long it's going to take to create this patch. For Jump Force, it only took about maybe three minutes or less, and then I went to install the game, and then I installed the patch, and then everything was working perfectly. As you guys can see, everything is running. Just let the program do its thing, and then you should be good to go. It will open up with a dialog box showing you the patch, and then on the actual program, it will tell you that it's complete. And then basically, you just hit OK, close out the application. Then you put the actual game, and the patch on a USB device, and then you connect it to your jailbroken PlayStation 4. As you guys can see in the background, it's building the patch. Just please wait. It won't take that long, and you should be good to go. Like I said to you guys before, it will open up with a dialog box showing you the patch, and then on the application itself, it will tell you everything is fine. As you guys can see, it automatically opened for me. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hit X on the application. Everything is good. Hit OK. And I'm going to hit X and close this out. So where is the patch? 
once everything is completed. It's in my new folder. As you guys can see, this is what it looks like. And inside of here, this is the patch on top, and I'm good to go. Like I said to you guys before, you want to copy the game and the patch onto a USB device and install it on your jailbroken console. I'm going to switch over to my Elgato right now and show you guys everything is working on 505. So as you guys can see, I'm on my Elgato, and I'm going to install the game right now. So I'm going to go over, settings, go down, and before I do that, let me show you real quick. I'm on 505, no issues, and then debug settings, then I'm going to go to game, package installer, and like I said, install the game first. Now, Jump Force is roughly about 18 gigs or maybe 14 gigs. May take about four minutes, maybe five minutes to install. It's really fast, doesn't take that long. And then I'll install the patch and then test out the game to make sure it's working. Now, do keep in mind there are some issues with EA, sorry, not EA, yes, yes, EA Sport games not working. So, like Madden. FIFA, even though you did the process right to downgrade it, it's still not working correctly. I know the devs are working on a solution to fix the problem, but just give them some time to look at the actual issue. Hopefully within a week or two, it should be fixed and you guys can then go and play Madden or you can play FIFA 2020 and you're good. But yeah, a lot of people are reporting that it's not working. And the devs are aware of the situation, so just have some patience. As far as everything else, it should work. If you did everything that I just did in this video, everything should work perfectly. I do not know if DLC is working correctly because I haven't tested any DLC. I don't see why it shouldn't work, but I would recommend for you guys to install the game first with the actual downgraded patch. Test out the game. If it's working great, then apply the DLC downgraded. And then if you encounter a situation where the game is not working after you install the DLC, then you know there's something wrong with the DLC. You can have a bad package DLC and then that's causing a problem and it's not the application. So I would recommend for you guys to do a lot of testing prior to reporting any issues to the dev. Well, for me, I'm not looking at any DLC. I'm just looking at playing the base version of the game and then I'm good to go and I'm great. As far as the jailbreak on 6.72, like I said to you guys before, there is no rush to get that at this moment. I would recommend for you guys to just hold off, stay on 505, do your downgrading, from 6.72 games to 505, at least you know it's working. Once 6.72 is like 90% stable, then I would tell you guys to go and install that on your jailbroken console and then do the jailbreak and then don't even bother with the downgrade. Just go for 6.72 and you're good. Me, I'm going to stay on 505 because, like I said, I have this tool. It's working perfectly, and there's no rush for me to get on 6.72. Eventually, 7.02 jailbreak will be out at some point, and then once that's even stable, maybe I'll go to that. But I'm going to stay on 505. Everything is good. Everything is great. I don't have any issues, and I can still play the games that I want to play. So you might as well just stay there. As you guys can see in the background, Jump Force is almost done. And then from there, like I said, install the patch. And then you're good. Let's give it a couple more seconds. It's moving. And then I should be able to start the game and play. Almost done. Sorry about the background noise. I know it's annoying as far as the bike flying by, but... I can't help that. So you hear it again, you know, people just rotting their stuff. It's summertime in New York. You're gonna get a lot of cars and bikes 
noise. So it is what it is. It's hot out here. It's like 92 degrees right now. But it doesn't really matter. So as you guys can see, almost done. Almost done. And I should be able to run the game no problem. Almost done. Almost done. I wanted to keep this video under 10 minutes, but unfortunately, I have to show you all of this just so that you guys can see that everything is working and there's no issues. But after this, that's pretty much it for this video. I know the devs will update their tool so that it can support EA Sports games. And then you guys should be able to play that. But as you guys can see in the background, the game is installed. Install the patch. This is only going to take a quick second. Look how fast that was. And voila. Let me test out the actual game. And you can see that was done. If you go back one more time. System. System information. 505. And then go to Jump Force. And there you go. I didn't get an error message. Everything is working fine on 505. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you this real quick. Let you know that everything is working. If you guys needed some help on how to use the backport tool, I just showed you. And that's it. As always, I thank you guys for supporting my channel and watching my video. And I will get up with you guys later. Peace.